Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 where we are able to play as uh, Keanu Reeves Oh yes, we are playing as him And in the last episode uh, we got fucked by... Mr. Deshaun And basically he shot us in the head And I think now we are seeing the memories of uh, Johnny Silverhand Sure thing. Oh. Oh, I thought he's me. Oof. Holy fuck, this gun is so god damn awesome. Oh, I want this gun. Holy shit, this gun. Yep. Shido too. Bomb's name is what? Wrap it up. We got a Delta. The Demolitra. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite income. There, Run for it. Ooh. Shoot the cables. Uh, these cables? Get the rotor spinning. We're on our way. Now what? Uh Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it. This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. I'm giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. More than enough. Love you, Spider. Hell yeah! You're dead. You're dead. Holy! Uh oh! Oh, your turn is coming. Okay. That was bad. And his health goes back. Hell yes. Just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take a look. Turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorist stating their desire to quote unquote topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now How dare they calling Keanu Reeves a terrorist? Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. Uh, Hit the roof quick. It's awfully quiet. Oh! Shit! That's Adam Smasher! Oh, 
Holy... Oh, this is bad. How did he kill him? Oh, he didn't. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Oh, see, so he's dead? Is he dead? Let us try once more. You associates. Who are they? How did you mm, not snitching hurt? again? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? Not your business. How did you acquire fissile material? Hey, Gramps. I know you. Let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Hot damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. So they but blow up the husband. tower? All of it? Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you freak. Hmm. Wait, what are you doing? Soul killer. Which? Uh, what's happening? Is this his memories again? Uh, Johnny? What's going on? Oh, that's me. 
with a lot of glitchy graphics. But where am I? Am I in the wastelands? Oh, Dexter, you're going to die. Holy shit, oh, I should have stayed dead. He is the bodyguard of Sabar, right? Wait, I thought he was going to help me because he... Is he going to help me or not? Because he was the bodyguard of Saburo and his son killed him. So maybe he didn't like that. But I think not. You hear me? I need your help. Oh, yeah, so he is helping me. What the fuck you scared the hell out of me? Okay. Time to kill some bitches. Okay, I'm... Am I hitting anyone? Uh, what's going on? Uh oh. You better shoot them. What's going on in this game? Why my aim is so goddamn bad? Where is he? Your goddamn gun is so goddamn weak. Oh, fucking shoot him! Oh, are we dead? He's still not dead. Keep your eyes open. Fuck. Well, we are not 
staying alive anytime soon because apparently we are haunted by terminators we both could use medical attention do you know <coughs> with whom you can trust oh yes i know uh you. yeah you were at Becky Plaza. We must get to Ripadok. Quickly. Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Uh, follow me. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Really? Um, pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica. Front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes. Beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. That's comforting. Now proceed to connect. Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Oh, we are in a very bad condition. Precious tanky! It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. So he's drilling... My skull. Nice. Now what? Damn it, she's Jackie's girlfriend. What do I tell her now? Am I supposed to do anything? How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Hello, handsome. V, you in there? Ah, my head. How you feeling? <laughs> Very bad. Fuck. I don't know, Vic. Here's a ring, and I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Oh. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. 
Man, this is dark. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another psyche's memories? How's that possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Who? Me and who, Vic? <laughs> Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, the terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Okay, so that's not the bad news. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... What? Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? Uh, why? It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. So Johnny is trying to take control? It's important you get all this. You fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would be. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Yeah, I want to know all of it. Not one deep. Okay. There was, is a construct, a psychic. Oh, okay. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber. You lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshawn. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die. But wait, they I... Up like nothing happened. I died? It used to be true. <clears throat> it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. It won't be pretty. So I'm going crazy. Your perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part. It's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Can't we just take the chip out or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Great. Fuck. I remember this thing. Saw it on TV. What was that stupid slogan? Soul something? Secure your soul. But that's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe. But this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Vic. You've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please, Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty. Holy shit, we are in a very bad situation. You're asking too. 
too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Well, no. this is going dark very, very goddamn quickly. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Wait, is that a reference to the Matrix? The red pill and the blue pill? Giving me a pill to prod that son of a I bitch think it is. So he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain could be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? I ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? What's Promise this? you'll try to get some sleep. Didn't you hear? My condition's terminal. What good can this do? Don't be silly. As long as you're alive, there's hope. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You really think I can make it? Survive this? Of course you can. I mean, you did already die and come back once, didn't you? Mr. Yeah, about Jackie. Uh, about Jackie. Yeah. He talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you <laughs> This is just sad. So sleep. Please sleep. Oh, it's the bullet. I really thought that he pulled all that from his head and I was wondering why and how it got into my head for some reason. Gotta oh, hello. And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. Okay, he's not that friendly. 
Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Okay, I'm going crazy. Where'd you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Uh... The fuck? Who you work for? Start talking! Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Oh. Okay, his condition is going very, very bad. What? In your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Fuck, fuck. Get out! Get Just out. Get, get the, the fuck, fuck out! Blood to the head, only thing that will fix this. Hear me, asshole? A bullet to the fucking brain! Oh, fuck me. So, wait, is uh, Johnny Silverhand is the bad guy in this game? <laughs> Because he doesn't seem that friendly right now. Time to go. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, there's a message I have. That's important. Messages. Uh, this one. Oh. Mayor Lucius Rhine has passed away. We learned of Mayor Rhine's death from his family, who died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Rhine's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming elections. Today, Okay, time to go. Yep, it's not far. Uh, hello. Sure. 
You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? Yeah. I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me <laughs> where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Oh. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? That's actually a good point of view. V? Suspect so, yeah. Okay, okay, Jesus. <laughs> Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Mm. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think that proof? don't trust the word of a merc. I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. Okay, you got me interested. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people yeah. are talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are ah, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people okay. like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, and okay. Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. And what's this? Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening already on ad. Oh, he changed the channel. Wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. 
What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. <laughs> You gotta chill, man, if you want to survive. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also walked in a kitchen all his life. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. Mm, yeah. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. I don't think you call that a reflex, but sure. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about mm, Maybe, there is. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Maybe he died? Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. Wait, Rogue was with Johnny Silverhand, right? She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Yeah, she was with him. About Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Fine. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my okay. people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Sure thing. Oh, God damn it! not you again. Well, Seven I'd like to see you, but... In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Yeah, so she is with him. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed oh. some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. 
think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Hmm, yeah, I don't trust you that much. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convince. <laughs> this guy. Your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Uh, fine. Call Judy. Oh, that one. How do I call her? Uh, T? Yep. Thought you were gone. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Hey. You heard about the heist I take it. Must have uh talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What I just say? Drop it. I and why you don't want to talk about her exactly? Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her, and I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? We meet. Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Okay. Man, the city really feels alive. I mean, they really made a really good job with this game. God damn it! Watch yourself, Jesus! Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Sus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Hello. Come coming in a bad time. You just don't give up, do you? Nope. Got nothing more to say to each other. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Okay, fine, Jesus. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? <clears throat> Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Okay. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. it wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Fine, I, I think. Luxurious. That's it. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Sure. Here you call. Okay. You seem Thank like you. a good person. Thank you, V. You're welcome. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not?
pets it. Okay, that's it. Oh, that's Susie. Club's closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? Okay, okay, damn it. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Okay, so we arrived at the Mega Tower. Uh, Evelyn should be here. Sorry. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corpse leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets soiled. Surprised. No, I mean. Hello, I'm Jillian Jordan. Okay. What do we have here? Time to wait. Uh, what's this place again? Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Looking for Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Let's see. Evelyn's not available at this time. And see her. It's important. Where is she? The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I'm not a customer. Well, all the more reason to be excited. There's a first time for everyone at Clouds. It's no reason to dawdle. All you need to do is jack in. We'll create your personal profile and you'll be good to go. Huh. I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the so menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef. Point blank. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire, we find it. You'll have uh, your needs fulfilled, and maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. Okay. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip seems are exciting. the recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. All right, let's do this. Fine. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. 
scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Really? Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? I forgot the names. I think an angel looks good. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Fine. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Angel awaits you in booth six. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any <coughs> and all hazardous <coughs> items with me. Uh, how? Only two willing to spread their legs for you. We hope Sad. you enjoy your stay. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Shut the fuck up. Guess that makes you a real Vincent. Oh, no. I'm Angel. You're Angel. I chose the wrong one. Oh. Sure. Why not? Do what you do best. Oh, this is our court. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Well, why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. That's why you're here. Look around. Tell me what you see. Nothing. Listen, I'm looking for someone who worked here. Evelyn Parker. Know her? Know where she is? You must see the big picture. You focus too much on details. Oh, this is awkward. Like Evelyn. Please don't act like you know me. I just want some answers. But are you asking the right questions? How can you change what has already happened? What did you mean, happened? Know something I don't? What happened to you? What you keep inside and never reveal to anyone? And that is... Come now. You know. What? What happened? Oh. Snuffed it once. I'm gonna have to do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy? You wish to leave something behind. A piece of yourself. That's why this all began. You wish to be remembered. Yeah. Wanted to reach the top. Be someone. Still do, but seems like that might not happen anymore. Still, if I gotta die, I want to go down in history. Fuck it, even a footnote to do. And after that, do you think death is a disappearing act followed by exactly nothing? Hmm. People have yeah. lost to live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Which is some stranger's voice in my own body. Yapping away. Mm, no longer part of the world. You will still... Oh, okay, this is really awkward. So you believe death is not the end after all? Reassuring. I think I might just be... Afraid. So I imagine these things to distract myself from the thought of the void of 
What I saw before is any indication where... You are sensitive. That does not make you weak. Try to suppress your emotions, and you'll drown. So, where do we go from here? This is the part where I tell you what you must do. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Be my guest. You've never backed out from anything, so don't stop now. Not one step backwards. In this city, people die on their way to the corner store for a scop pop. But that threat's never stopped you. You dive into the middle of it all. Always have. Okay, I think this is enough. What? What happened? You interrupted the session? Did I do something wrong? Were you not satisfied? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Yeah. Wait just a sec. That's not how this works. <laughs> you can't ask me about the dollhouse or anything like that. I could get in serious trouble. Go. Please, just go. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, and she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her. Find out yep. if she's okay. Look, I barely knew her, and I have no clue where she is. Nobody came looking for her. Nothing out of the ordinary happened. There was an incident with a client. What client? I don't know the specifics. One doesn't ask about these things around here. Tom might know. He and Evelyn were close. Go ask him. And please leave me alone. Okay, fine, fine, fine. This incident. But the incident. Client, what happened? Nobody saw, nobody knew. Who attacked first, it was all a mystery. Then they just buried it. No more questions, not another peep about it anywhere from anyone. Tom, who's he? Friend of Evelyn's. Wasn't a free moment they weren't together. Where'll I find him? He's a doll here. Works the VIP area, booth two. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Shh, don't ask for me again. Ever. Believe me, I won't. Can I go through here? I can't get in. What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. Fuck. Oh. Time for a bloodbath. Don't want trouble. Oh, oh. I don't have weapons. I'll fuck you up, motherfucker. What do you want? Don't shoot me. Don't hurt me. I didn't do anything. Relax, you're not yep. in trouble. Just give Just me information. Want to talk for a little. Where's Evelyn? I need to talk to her urgently. It's important. Well, are you mad at her or something? No. No. Know where she is or not. I don't have time for it. Uh, she's Come not on. here. Tried calling her more than once. No answer. Heard she was chipping a new faceplate in a clinic in Osaka. No, no. Oslo. That was it. Evelyn tell you personally she was going away? Um, no, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left. And? Like I said. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but all right. we all call him Woodman. It. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. Who is he? Um, he's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? And can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh, that's what they should be replacing. 
Okay, time to go. I'm sorry, don't want I'm in trouble. No, oh, I have to go by that gun. I'm dead. Give me that. You deserve it. Did I kill Woodman? Oh, he had the key card. Oh, this is bad. Time to move. Did I get the key card? What? Who are you? What do you want? Chill, keep calm. I'm looking for a girl. <coughs> okay, Cap. Interesting word choice for someone who plowed through massacring all along the way. Things got out of hand, I'll admit. Yeah. But cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Okay, you're going to die, you know. Oh, he's strong. Well, aren't you the king of fuckers? <sighs> Thank God. You're not helping. Now what? Hell, why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his cop? That's just my work. Okay, that's you. What do we have here? Sold her off to a ripper. Was oh, to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a joy toy's wet dream. Where are you? I'm here. Okay, time to leave. Not here. Not here. Not here. Don't want any trouble. Uh, let me take this very fast. Thank you. Holy shit, that was messy. I think fingers got her. I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. I think fingers got her. I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Okay, time to move. What happened? I think fingers got her. 
I think we'll find her there. V, if you had a plan, you tried, it fell flat. Yeah. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition. Oh. Uh. The hell is that? No, 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 damn it. Damn it. Jesus, what the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. What's going too slow? Before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. you already what the hell you want from me i gotta get out of jail free card i'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage oh so he wants to take control in Arasaka, we got a half century old score needs settling and i plan to do it that's what i need you for never been recruited into a terrorist cell before Listen, honored, I actually. know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Mikoshi's how we grab it. M Mikoshi? Who's he? So, this Mikoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yep. Sure. That's what That's they did to you, right? Construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? <laughs> I don't think so. Years back, ops on the human mind. Mikoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bomb's named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. Fine. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Makoshi. Uh, that's it. Uh, where to now? Easy then. Let me play. You can watch. Okay. Uh, let's call Judy real quick. Seems one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, True. managed to learn anything? Uh, uh, yeah. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently, they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh shit! Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop up Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Okay. To find her. To go her help her. Away from clouds. Uh, all right, later, v. Okay, I think this is enough for today's episode. A lot of things happened and still happening. Things are getting really interesting. Uh, I'm really excited for about what's going to happen. 
Uh, but I think we will find out in the next episode. So if you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.